to my home baking universe. Today I'm going to show you how to make the homemade sourdough whole wheat breads that most of you are already familiar with. Let's get started. So let's start with all our types of flour. And we've got here 200 gram of all-purpose white flour straight into the mixing bowl first. Of the whole wheat brown flour and then 80 gram of our buck wheat flour which you can substitute with rye flour if you want. Our salt, so this is a slightly reduced salt recipe, I'm going with 5 grams only. Fresh yeast, this is 6 gram of fresh yeast or you can take it down to 3 grams of instant dry yeast if you don't have fresh yeast. Our water, that's 320 gram of water. But with honey, it's gonna have that nice nutritional flavor to it. And a personal touch, just gonna add a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. Finally, optional, but that's gonna give a nice sour flavor to over about 100 gram of sourdough, liquid sourdough starter. Straight onto the mixer, with the hook attachment. We're gonna start on nice, low speed. Just to bring the ingredients together first. Once we that dough that starts to form, then we're going to increase the speed a little bit to give it the strength and the elasticity. So we're gonna count for about two minutes on low speed and five minutes on high speed, five to six minutes. Flour. You want both on the table and just a little dust on the surface of the dough as well. And I'm gonna come and scrape the bread dough so you can lift it right off the bowl and then onto that lightly dusted table. At this stage, just a little shaping, so just take the edges back to the center, all the way around, just give it a little pull back to the center, a little press. Don't overwork it at this stage, just want to shape it. And when you turn it the other way around, you've got a nice and smooth surface, which we're going to come and extend from the side, stretch it underneath. And then that's our bread dough that we're now going to leave on the counter to rest for 30 to 45 minutes. Now, you just want to make sure that it doesn't get a skin, that it doesn't get dry out. So for this, I usually use wet cloth, just slightly moisturized, just gonna wrap it around. I'm just gonna let that rest for the time being, 30 to 45 minutes. All right guys, welcome back. So at this stage, our dough has been rest paper. I'm just going to gently lift it off the table and we're gonna divide it into four equal loaf. So we're just going to we tighten each of these pieces individually, two hands. The wet cloth to let that rest for another 20 to 30 minutes. At this stage, we're going to set up the oven at 470 degree Fahrenheit loaded with pizza stone oven inside welcome back guys so this is the final touch where we're going to do the final shaping of our loaves so we just want to handle them very gently at this stage so what I have here is a linen cloth as well which we're going to use as a resting surface 
but then for the final proving just to allow the bread loaves to breathe nicely during that proving stage so just a little bit of dusting flour on the table with the tip of the finger we're going to flatten the loaf a little bit i'm just going to start a little bit of a triangular shape you just roll it towards you Tighten it at the same time, go all the way until we've got that final line that we're going to close with the bottom part of our hands just to have a nice tight loaf to finish with. There we go, beautiful. And here we're just going to place it onto that lid and close upside down for the final proving. guys so this is the moment we've been waiting for we're now going to load these loaves into the oven so for this a little bit more flour is needed you also want to prepare about half a cup of water which we're going to use to make the steam in the oven so we're going to load them two at a time a normal pizza stone can hold two of these loaves comfortably just gonna gently turn them back around you see that line here that's going to be sitting on yeah. give them a bit of space I'm just going to dust a thin decorative layer of flour onto them Whoa. and I'm just going to use something nice and sharp razor sharp to make an incision so not right in the middle but a little bit on the side nice and long Okay guys, it's been about 30 minutes and these babies are ready to come out 